Be Wealthy and Smart, Episode 67. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. This is our last episode of 2014, and Happy New Year! In this episode, I'm going to do an end of year recap and talk about some action steps and some summary of the podcast that I've done so far. I launched the podcast in April, and my idea is to educate you and provide experience from someone who has made millions of dollars who can serve as a mentor, not like an author or a journalist, not like a financial planner, but someone who actually has experience and brings people with experience to you. My show is not about coupons or living in a 200 square foot house and being overly frugal, what I call a frugalist, because I believe life is to be lived to the fullest and you're in charge of creating your life. But, but only if you get behind the wheel of the car. You can't remain a passenger in someone else's car and get where you want to go. It's up to you to decide and execute your plan. Otherwise, it's just a nice fantasy. I started out the show by sharing the six steps to wealth, which are a roadmap for how wealth is created. The first step is to focus on getting a wealthy mindset, because I believe that's where it all starts. That mindset is where it starts first. When I was young, I was lucky enough, or was it luck? to come across Think and Grow Rich. From there, I read every mindset book I could, Thinking Big and The Magic of Believing. Those are amazing, amazing topics to think about and to feed into your mind. And I realized that millionaires do this on a regular basis. They put positive ideas in their own mind. They they are conscious of getting behind the car and driving the car themselves. If In this case, that metaphor of the car is your mind, then you want to be driving what is put into your mind. You want to control what's in your mind, not have someone else put media topics or fear or marketing and advertising or lack thinking. All of those things are around us. And you want to be the one to put the thoughts in your head and not be driving in someone else's car where they're putting the thoughts in your head. Back when I was reading those books, there were a lot of great classic books that fill your mind with the right mindset, with positivity, with belief and certainty. These are the tools you need to be feeding your mind to drive your car. You need to think the thoughts you want to think and believe. You can't just go with the status quo and think what everybody else is thinking. And also, the thoughts that you've had to this point are what have gotten you to the place that you are. If you like the place that you are, that's fantastic. Think more of those thoughts and continue to do what you're doing. But if you're not happy with where you are, you need to change your thoughts because the same thinking that got you where you are is not the same thinking that's going to get you to where you want to go. You've got to change how you think first. If you don't really believe you can do it, then you're not going to be able to do it. So we want you to have that positivity, that positive mindset, and keep all of that positivity in your mind. So I want to talk about the six steps to wealth and just review really quickly what those are again. The first step is to create a wealthy mindset. And I've already talked about that a little bit, but creating a wealthy mindset is so important. Again, that's putting yourself behind the wheel and being really conscious about how you're driving that car and where you're going. The second step is to save a nest egg. A nest egg is necessary to 
have capital to be able to invest and grow wealth. So you've got to have some money initially to do that with. And to get there, you've got to have some savings and be able to do that. People often ask me, well, should I save or should I pay off my debt? Well, I really think you have to pay off your debt first because you can't really save and then get to investing if you're still worried about the debt and you're worried about the fluctuation of investments. That's going to really give you cause for a lot more fear than you normally would have if you still have a lot of debt. So I would say focus on debt first if you have debt. So after you've saved your nest egg, the third step is to find a mentor, which is why I'm here, to help you understand the steps that you need to take to have financial freedom and to follow someone who's actually created wealth in their life and not just a journalist or a financial planner who are good people, but who don't have the actual experience to give you the guidance of what really works and what doesn't work. It's not just book knowledge to me, it's actual experience to me, and I can share that with you. Number four is invest in a money engine. A money engine is that vehicle that's going to grow your wealth, whether that's real estate or precious metals or stocks, whatever that might be, that money engine is going to grow your wealth. As you know, I'm not keen on any one specific way to grow wealth. I think there's tons of different ways to become wealthy. And if that weren't true, then everybody would have followed the same path to wealth. And that's just not true. People have gotten wealthy through initial public offerings at companies they've worked for and technology firms. They've gotten wealthy by buying real estate, some through apartment buildings, some through foreclosures, some through... um, buying condos and flipping them. There's all kinds of different ways to build wealth and there's no one right path to wealth. What you want to do is take your interest, take your passion and apply that in the way that you're most interested and that makes it easiest for you. So if you're most interested in one particular area, if you prefer stocks over real estate, then go ahead and and work on stocks. But realize that Money does move in cycles, and there are going to be certain things that are going to perform better than others, so you want to eventually diversify and have some of a lot of these different assets, or what we call asset classes. They're just different types of assets, so you're diversified, so that as one area performs well, you own some of that, and as another area can you know, continues on and maybe performs well in the next several years, you already own some of that as well. So you want to have some of many things. There's no just one right way to wealth. Number five, you want to also compound at a high rate. So having the highest rate possible without taking undue risk is really the key, is you want to have the highest rate of return with the lowest amount of risk. That's what these very highly paid hedge fund managers try and do. They try to minimize risk but get you the highest return. And that return over and above the averages, which in the stock market the averages are things like the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the Standard & Poor's 500 average, those things measure what the averages, the average performance, the average compounding rate is. And so anything above that that you receive, the term for that is alpha. It's over and above the average rate of return. And you want to do that by minimizing risk. You want to take as little risk as possible. Hopefully no extra risk, but get a higher rate of return. So maybe you're just a better stock picker than the Standard & Poor's 500 and you outperformed it and made three percentage points more than that, that's your alpha over and above what the average was for the Standard & Poor's 500. So you wanna have the highest alpha as possible. That's a term that if you use it, people will think you're very, very knowledgeable about investing because not everybody understands those kinds of terms. Number six, protect your wealth. So I talked a little bit about diversification earlier and why you wanna own some of a lot of different things. That's because There are different cycles and different assets do well in different cycles, but it's also because it's a way to protect your wealth. Diversification has always been a way to spread your money across different assets or asset classes, as they're called, and really protect your money. 
So those, in summary, are the six steps to wealth, and that is the roadmap to wealth building. Those are the things that step by step by step, if you follow, they will lead you to wealth building and eventually to financial freedom. And that is what I want you to understand is really how the process works, because it was really my life's work to find out how does it work? What are the steps? What is it that I need to do to really to build wealth? And those are step by step, the steps you need to take. All right. I also talk about investing like billionaires. And I mentioned in earlier podcasts, the wealth transfer. So what is the wealth transfer? Well, I talked about how our money is changing and how you're not really hearing this on the news, but the BRICS or the Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa countries are successfully for the first time beginning to trade without using the U.S. dollar. And they are bypassing the world's reserve currency, the U.S. dollar, and trading with each other. This is beginning now. So the effects are not immediate, but I do believe this will eventually cause a disruption in the system of imports and exports and quite possibly affect our food supply even. This is not about tomorrow. This is in the future, not right now. But it's important that you begin educating yourself and preparing to understand what's happening and how it's going to impact our financial system. I have books on my resources page on my website that I recommend you read and study under the wealth transfer section. I've also talked about buying silver. While that has not performed well lately, I still am a long-term buyer and believer And now at these low prices below $20 an ounce, are you kidding me? We are below what it costs to extract silver out of the ground. If that's not a heck of a bargain and a deal, I don't know what is. But it doesn't mean we've seen the low prices in silver yet. We can, in fact, see lower prices. So the best thing for you to do is buy at regular intervals and not to try and time when is the bottom. But you want to... uh, buy steady and buy regularly and see if you can't get yourself a good average lower cost price. This is not about speculation. It's about maintaining purchasing power since paper money, dollars, have been printed in the trillions without any limit to it. Billionaires like Carlos Slim, who is from Mexico and made his fortune in the telecom industry, and John Paulson, who was the huge winner of the subprime crisis of 2007 and 8, and Eric Sprott, who's a financial genius, have talked about adding gold and silver to their portfolios. A 10% allocation may be appropriate for you if you share some of the same concerns that I've mentioned here. And you can study up on those billionaires and see what they're doing, see what they're talking about. They are saying the same things about our currency, about money, about what's going to happen in the future. During my podcast, I also talked about real estate and how to avoid some common mistakes. A lot of people love those shows and thanked me for them. If you haven't listened yet, I suggest you listen to number 34 and number 54. Those are two shows about real estate and how to avoid common mistakes and how to get more selling your home than you normally would. It's, again, my experience and not typically the things that you read about real estate that I'm sharing with you. So these are tips and tricks that I've figured out over the years and through my investing. I also received a lot of praise for what was my Create Your Luxury Brand series. That's podcast number 15 through 19. I talked about luxury brands, how to price, package, and promote your way to having a luxury brand and working with high-end clients, and why you want to own a business, particularly in this day and age. And that's because about 77% of millionaires got that way by owning a business. So through some sort of business angle, and that does include professionals, which would be like doctors, lawyers, dentists, etc. And so... This is something that you can start today by having a side hustle. That can be a great way to get started while you still have a job. And if you haven't listened to that podcast yet, I suggest you listen to number 64. 
if you already are an entrepreneur, then again, I would encourage you to listen to the Create Your Luxury Brand series for how to work with high-end clients, how to get people to really appreciate the work that you do, and to be able to charge what you're worth. Again, all of these can be found on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, or you can also go to bewealthyandsmart.com forward slash podcasts. It'll get you to the same website. So either way, whatever's easier for you to remember, either my name or the name of the show, it's forward slash podcasts, and you'll get to the same place. Because you've been a great listener and a great supporter, I want to give you something special. This is a very, very special gift. I don't do this very often, if ever. I don't think actually I've done this particular promotion ever before. But I wanted to give you something special, and I wanted to do it just for my podcast listeners. So if you want more information about creating a wealthy mindset, because you loved that series, you've listened to them, you're craving some more. You want to know how to do it, how to get all the details to actually implement this in your business. Or you're thinking about starting a business. And if you did start a business, you'd want it to be a luxury brand business because you understand quality and all the things that go into a luxury brand. You want a business like that. I'm going to give you an opportunity just for listeners of this show, I'm offering a 50% savings on those two products, my Create Your Luxury Brand online mentorship and the Personal Wealthy Mindset Blueprint. This blueprint is to get you thinking differently and to get you a written plan for what you're going to be doing in the new year. So the Personal Wealthy Mindset Blueprint takes your thoughts, takes that positivity that I've talked about, takes a wealthy mindset, Actually, I walk you through how to put it down on paper and achieve those goals. So I walk you through all of the how to think about it. What are the affirmations to create? What are the regular things you need to be saying to yourself? What's the positivity that you need to have in your mind? How do you change your thoughts from what you've been thinking to what you need to be thinking to make the changes to have a better year? How do you need to formulate all of that so that you're having a daily plan that you can work on and something that you've got at your fingertips every single day so that it's foremost in your mind. You can focus on it and really become the driver of your own car rather than driving in someone else's car. So the Wealthy Mindset Blueprint does that. The Create Your Luxury Brand online mentorship teaches you how to have a luxury brand business and price package and promote your way to high-end clients. Those are both 50% savings right now, just go to my website and use the code SAVE50, S-A-V-E-5-0, SAVE50, small s, SAVE50, and you'll save 50% off those two amazing products. I want you to get where you want to go, and I believe these are going to help you get there. So go to my website, lindapjones.com or bewealthyandsmart.com, same thing. Click on shop, then choose the product you want. Either create your luxury brand or wealthy mindset blueprint or both. Add to cart and enter save50 as a coupon code and you'll get it for half off the regular price. That is a huge savings for you and my gift to you for being a listener of this show, which I so appreciate. I hope this recap of this year's podcast helped you. I'm going to be doing a great kickoff summary in the next podcast for the new year, so you can really get to your goal of financial freedom as soon as possible. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. If you haven't yet signed up for my 21 Days to a Wealthy Mindset, this is the time. This is the time to go and do it. I give you all the information to start thinking differently, to really get on board. I give you a little email every day for 21 days just to give you a nice reminder and get you started on the right foot. I've got little videos and audios and all kinds of little things that won't take you long but can really change your mindset and get you started in the right direction. There's also some tips to download that are wealth tips that can propel you forward right now. So if you'd rather have those instead, you can click on the pop-up when you go to my website at lindapjones.com and opt in for those.
I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to the show and has put in some reviews for me. I so appreciate it. I've gotten tremendous reviews this year. It's so heartwarming. I so, so, so appreciate it so much. I have also posted on my Facebook page when I've gotten particularly touched by some podcasts, and it's really made my day, week, and in some cases my year because of what people say and how they say I'm changing their life. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you're one of the people who has taken the time to write a review for me. I so appreciate it. If you haven't done it, I have a little reward for you for taking a few moments to do it. It's called Secrets of Billionaires. It's a 20-minute audio I recorded just for you to say thank you for leaving a rating and review. So if you haven't rated and reviewed the show, I would so appreciate it if you would do that to go to either my page on my website and click on any podcast. I've got a link there where you can go and go to iTunes or Stitcher and leave a review. I would so, so much appreciate that. That would be a great ending to the year. So again, that's the end of this show. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.